Welcome to another A and B horror movies. I am Ben, and I'm Aaron. Uh, today we are going to be talking about some of our favourite creature feature movies. But um, before that, as usual, the beers. Do you want to go first, dude? I sure can. I have a Spring Break, a New England IPA. Let's see that. There's a skeleton cool. sitting on an island. Um, awesome hat. Awesome hat. And, and what's so awesome about this is that it's 6.66% alcohol. I don't know if you can see it right there. Short video then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is brewed by Widowmaker Brewing located in Braintree, Massachusetts. And I am drinking it out of my new Reagan Geeky Tiki. Look at how adorable she is. Yeah. And she's green on the inside too. The pea soup, right? The pea soup, yep. Yeah. Um, I am drinking a yeah, what do you have? With your geeky cheeky, actually, a burning sky devil's rest. Oh, nice. Okay. I love the artwork on that. Yeah, it's cool. I couldn't quite see where it was from. Um, I'm like devil guessing it is UK. Mm -hmm. Um, definitely that's what it says. Um, but yeah, it's cool. And it's seven percent. Oh, a very short video. <laughs> very short. And that's it. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> but, um, oh, and I got uh, a new shirt. New shirt. Check it out. This came uh, from Wicked Cat Clothing. Uh, they have some really awesome horror T-shirts. I think it's wickedcatclothing.com. And they're also on Instagram. Um, so, again, check it out. Some This older yeah. gentleman at the gas station today said... I love Bloody Marys. <laughs> Pleasing everyone. I am, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so go and check them out. Yes. Go and have a look at their T-shirts and clothing or whatever they do. Mostly cool. horror T-shirts, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Check out their cool. store. Check out their Instagram page. Um, and there you have it. There you have it. That's the end. <laughs> right. See you um, next time. Do you want to go first? Uh, sure. So like Ben said, we're going to do some creature features today. And I thought I would go first with Beast. Hey. Uh, it's kind of a cool, you know, style. Uh, it starts out kind of quirky, like the way they introduce the characters with their yeah, name. Yeah, that's cool. Um, it freezes it. Comes up, doesn't it? Yes. Right. And, and it's yeah. like most likely to die in 20 minutes or mm. probably won't survive the night. Um, the monster effects were quite impressive, very gory. Uh, if you like a gory film, then this is for you. Um, I would say it's anything but predictable. And once the sort of the mayhem, mayhem starts, it's really unrelenting right up until the end. Yeah, super. Did, um, am I right saying Ben Affleck and Matt Damon had something to do with it? They did, yes. Uh, Wes Craven, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and Chris Moore. I think this that's, was part of the, yeah, it was part of Project Greenlight, the TV that's, show. That's a the even third season. Research, that is. Yeah, it's cool. I watched it not too long oh. ago. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, I feel like it's not talked about enough. Um, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a cool film. Super fun. Um, it's my first I'm choice. Get out of one. What about you? Of course, here I'll it comes. I'll this because mm -hmm. I've just got this. It's cool. It's a Japanese cover. Of course. Uh, still book of Jaws and uh, is my all time favorite film. And as it was creature features, I thought I'd go with Jaws. You have to, right? Oh, and that steel book is amazing. Oh, nice. Yeah. The inside is very cool. Yeah. Oh, and it's got the, the Japanese poster for it on the back. <laughs> Will it play? Well, though, you won't be able to play yeah, it. Right? Yeah, it's, it's um, region there. free. Yeah, it's, well, it's um, uh, a shop. In England, uh, UK, HMV, and they do, I think they've done like The Thing and some other films, still book with Japanese covers. So they're, they're English, they've just got the Japanese covers. Uh, I see. Okay. Oh, I, thought it, I thought it was an import. <laughs> yeah, you hope, yeah. right? Because you don't have any other copies of the movie. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I guess I'll go next. I chose uh, The Descent. Awesome. Very scary film. Uh, I like the. Gosh, where do I start? I really like the very intro. There's like a car accident that happens within the first few minutes, which is horrific. Um, and then what sort of starts out as a fun girls weekend 
expedition turns it's blonking. Is it blonking? very dark. Yeah, <laughs> it goes very dark. Um, once yeah. they get down in the caves, they're not alone. It. I'll tell you, I always thought it would have made, obviously it was a good film because it's, it's long enough to be a film. I always thought it would have made an awesome X-Files episode. Yes, yes. It always reminded me of something like that. I don't know why. But, well, it yeah. well, would have been great if you had Sculler and, wait, Scully and Mulder. <laughs> I combined <laughs> them into one person um, yeah. going down into That's the caves. That's the baby, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Their baby. Anyway, going down into the caves to find them. Yeah. Awesome. I, I would have watched it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, no, that's a good film. And I, I just want to mention, mm -hmm. uh, most people would have sent out the thought, at the end, when you think it's the end, but really she's dreaming, so cool. I love that yes. bit. Yes, sort of yes. A, sort of a trick ending, right? The way yeah. uh, it gets you. Then I but then my biggest problem was the second one, though, right? Because then it was kind of real. I, I don't know. The yeah. second one's not as good as the first, but it's still... Um, that's when they go down the shaft, the mine shaft, isn't it? On the, oh, the yes. lift. Or, yes. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't as good, but it was watchable. Yeah. No, I, I own it too. I thought about pulling it out, but yeah, maybe a future video. Um, What's your uh, second one? I'm going to go with an absolute classic, Tremors. Yes. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Kevin Bacon. Awesome. Um, it's just brilliant film, isn't it? Pretty oh sure. yeah, I love that one. I think I, I think I saw it in the theater actually. Um, I didn't. I remember it was on TV actually. The first time I watched it, but it was, it was super. I love all like. I'd probably say my favorite sort of horror is sort of monsters, creature sort of feature ones. Mm -hmm. So that's what did you think of, of my the, the sequels? Or are you? They were fun, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> sort of like all the Critters sequels, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'll it, see it, one. It um, yeah, it, they're, they're all right. I mean, I think the character Bert's been in like all of them. Yes. So, um, yeah. No, and, all... and he passed away recently, I think, right? He did, yeah. Very sad. Mm -hmm. so, well, at least we have the movies absolutely. to remember him by, I would say. Yeah, definitely. An absolute classic and a super character in him as well. Yeah, agreed. Um, let's see. I guess I'm up. I picked uh, Rawhead Rex. Just oh, because awesome. how fun is this movie? Um, I know people kind of, you know, aren't terribly happy with the effects in it, but I almost find the creature to be charming, I guess, with all its faults. Yeah, you know? I, I just thought it was um, see the good old 80s horror. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, so I love yeah, the artwork on the front as well. We've just yeah, got that booklet. Before. Oh, it's just like the, the same thing. Yeah, wicked. But it's got frame some it. information. Frame it. <laughs> you think so? That would kind of yeah, look Yeah, that's cool. Obviously. Frame, right? I think you sent me a picture when you when you got it. And I was like, um, the case is really cool, yeah. Yes, no, it's awesome. How cool would it be to have this signed by Clive Barker? Like, right oh, there. yeah. So if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> very unlikely. Send it. <laughs> well, you never know. I'll pay for shipping. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, what do you have next, man? Um, another classic. Gremlins. Yes. Um, it's just it's brilliant, isn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's uh, for anyone that was can remember round about that time. Um, it's just a classic for everyone, isn't it? It is. It's awesome. Can watch it. A, yeah, watch it any time of the year. And it's a good film to watch at Christmas as well. It sure is. In fact, during the pandemic, um, we rented out a private movie theater and watched that. That was one of the movies oh, cool. um, that we watched in December, two years ago, yeah. I guess. You know? But it was quite, good. quite awesome. Such a good film. So um and you saw the autograph I have of Joe Dante, right? That exact yeah. poster right there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was showing. That's I was just the, yeah, that's you. the one I have. <laughs> cool. cool. So yeah, uh, Gremlin. Not cinema. Perfect it. choice. Is that a steelbook? Steelbook, it is right? steelbook yeah. Very cool. I've got I the second one. The, well, so. Oh, nice. I think I still have the flip covers, the old flip cover DVDs. Guess I should upgrade. Cool. Wow, well, no need. No need. No need, right. Um, all right, let's see. So I went with Pumpkinhead. Uh, I thought 
You know, in fact, this and raw head racks would be an awesome double feature. Uh, let me show yeah. you the steelbook Definitely. artwork. See how it continues? Look at that. Yeah. It's kind of the, the same sort of style as the raw head Rex. Yes, yeah. Um, I think. Well, it's similar. This one, uh, gosh, it's more of like a revenge story. Um, in fact, it's mm. kind of sad, a sad story, really. Um, because once the, once the protagonist realizes what he's done, he tries to undo it because he realizes, you know, two wrongs don't make a right, I guess, to, to quote and that. That is Lance um, Henriksen. Yes. yes. Great actor. Terrible. I can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a second to actually yeah. stick right over it because I was drawing a blank. Sometimes we start these videos and it's like my uh, memory just goes. <laughs> as soon as the sip of beer, I'm gone. <laughs> Could be this. Yeah. Seven <laughs> percent. <laughs> yes. Um, All right. What's your last one, right? Or is it? Do you have two more? Two more. Two more. Okay. Yep. Yeah, because I did four. I've no, no. I've got one more, but you got two more. Go ahead. Right. Um, I, I can't go. count either. <laughs> Don't worry, I can't. I can't. <laughs> um, what have we gone for? Oh, Leviathan. Love that movie. Brilliant, brilliant film. Proper. I don't. I don't own it. I wish I did. I. I love that movie. So Go good. Ahead. Proper eighties. Mm -hmm. Um, monster. It's got uh, Peter Weller, um, Amanda Pays, and Richard Greener. Richard Greener. That is. Is that uh, Home Alone? Or am I thinking of someone else? He's in that, though. The one who plays Marv. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Am I getting no, names mixed up? I'm not sure. Research, research man. We need research, to do some research people. ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> but, but it works. A, it's a scary so underwater good. creature. Yeah, creature. Um, again, mm. practical effects. Can't beat them. And that's why the 80s were the best. I'm sure we're. So, yeah, the voice film. If I haven't seen it, awesome never awesome. Awesome. I need to get a copy of that. Yeah, you yeah. definitely should do. I think it's hard to find, which is why I don't have it. Yeah, I did find cool. I did find the Abyss on VHS, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's a cool because that was, around the time they were doing a lot of like underwater horror creature feature yeah. movies, and I remember the Abyss, Leviathan. I could have chose underwater, couldn't I? There was another one, <laughs> or underwater. Yeah. Well, yeah. actually, speaking of which, I went with a, a newer film, um, Antlers, because Brilliant. I thought this was a really nice surprise. Yeah, I'd say monster film done well. Definitely. Um, the, it's, it's very creepy. The little kid in it yeah. plays the role so well, and he just makes you feel sorry for him. Yes. Well, once you realize what's actually going on, yeah. It, and his little brother and his father. That's a sad story. But I mean, it's a sad story for the the other the um, other lead, Carrie Russell's character. That's her name, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Carrie Russell's character. That her, she has a sad backstory too. Yeah, definitely a um, a lot of matters there. This it is quite yeah. serious. Um, her a, story, isn't that so? But yeah, so it's a really good film. Cool cover. Really surprising. Mm -hmm. Good effects. Yep, maybe the final act fell a little bit short, but I don't know. I was okay with it. That whole scene, yeah, in the, there's a scene in the shed, remember? That was terrifying. Yeah. Go ahead, I cut you off. Yeah. No, I was going to say, I was just hoping, I wanted to see more of the creature a bit more. As you mm -hmm. said, the final act was a bit, but yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it kept you wanting to see in that respect. So it yes. played it well, really. So, yeah, no, I, I actually really enjoyed it. I couldn't wait to get a copy of it, um, as you can yeah. see. Very lucky, as we cannot get it. I've not seen it on Blu-ray in the UK. Really? So, well, I'll get one for you. Unbelievable. Oh, Bastards. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> All right, what's your last one? <laughs> this is a double one, but um, I'm going with the first one. Alligator which you have an awesome, awesome Blu-ray, I believe 4K, was that? It is, yes. Um, Screen Factory, right? Screen oh, Factory. Yeah, image. I should get it. But mm -hmm. um, this is quite, I thought this was quite charming. Oh yeah, I love it. Double I just feature. watched it recently and I watched Alligator yeah. 2 at the gym. Not as good, yeah. but I mean, Dee Wallace is in it and you can't you can't go wrong yeah. with her in a, in a horror film. You don't use it. Yeah, and you get a cool, 
Yes. Yeah. Was... But you so should get I that think, on the old DVD. I think those are the original posters. Yeah, the original posters, yeah. I used to have um, on my wall when I was really little. I don't even know where it came from. Poster of this. Alligator 2? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know I don't, where it came from. I don't know. I, I, like I said, I rewatched it recently. It's streaming on Shudder. Um, so I checked it out while I was at the gym. Well, it's entertaining, you know. It was, yeah. It's, it's, it's not as charming. It's not as fun as the first. Um, right. sort of lagged in some bits but it it is what it is yeah of course no cool uh collection um so we i guess do... what's that yeah no i was just gonna say we can also do a part two for this because there's so many good monster movies out there yes we'll have to do that we've got to do more zombie videos there's so many um so many That's options we actually have a running list um that we haven't even put a dent in yet mm. So why don't we do, uh, last up, some new arrivals before we wrap it up. Cool. Do you want me to go first or you? You go first, Mom. I just got a copy of Demons, Dario Argento's classic film. Um, I haven't watched it in years, so I'm looking forward to uh, checking this out. So and good. It, it's a Synapse Films edition. Cool. I love that poster. I've got a steelbook. Oh, yeah. That's great. Uh, oh, you have the steelbook? Very nice. Is that? Yeah, I wish it was that uh, that post actually on the front. It's not; it's a bit different, but some kind of strange artwork. Cool. Yeah, that'd make a really cool T-shirt. It would. Uh, anyway, so I'm glad to have it now. And uh, actually, I realized I already own it, but now I have two copies. Maybe we'll oh. do it as a giveaway. There you go. I've got a fair few of them as well. <laughs> Double. So uh, <laughs> as you went with demons, I got this. Um, it was a mistake. Actually, thought it was Night of the Demons one, but. It's not the Demons 2. Oh, yeah. So, it was a bit of a surprise. I've not seen this one, so that's quite cool. I'm, not um, sure. I'm sure. I know I've seen it. I don't really remember it, though. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have. I remember the first one with uh, Lena Quigley. She's yes. In the first one, isn't she? Yeah. Yes, she is. Very famous. Scene, that's a good one. <laughs> um, <laughs> I believe that was in the background on one of our videos. In fact, that? our last video with yeah. Isha. She had uh, it playing the famous lipstick scene. Yeah. She had it so, uh, playing on her TV right in the background. So censor, is. censor. That's it. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, it's cool. So yeah, that's uh recently just uh got that one for the collection. Cool. Uh okay, back to me. I got this actually just today, uh off season. It's a new film that's on Shutter. I started watching it. I think it's quite awesome. Uh, very creepy. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, got some great reviews here. Variety says it's spine tingling, and Warped Perspective said sinister. So that's got the slip cover. Shutter, and I haven't watched that. So um, yeah, check it out. It's good. Somebody. I recommend it. I haven't finished it yet, but so far it's very creepy. I need to get some of these Shutter films on the. On DVD or Blu ray, they're quite cool. There's some really good ones on there. Yes, um, agreed. If you're cool, watching Shudder. <laughs> um, I do love Shudder. <laughs> we do love Shudder, yeah. Um, but I've got this. This is a DVD. Um, the Willies. Oh, nice. Never That's seen fun. it. Never That's seen good. it. Nice addition. Cool. Yeah, uh, Sean Austin in it. Mm -hmm. um sam Moyes. what's, what's in, the back uh, look like uh, yes. the back, oh, yeah. right? and he's in um the goonies right he is yeah that's it uh so yeah cool. in it. and i've been told it's quite a fun yeah I, you know i don't know that I, i've seen it but it's been a long time i should i should get a copy too yeah it's pretty cool um a bit low it's a bit squashed actually <laughs> oh don't you hate no. that was it the male Sometimes uh, I, I think he just um, <laughs> rocket launches our post for the letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I told you uh, the first handmade by robots I got, it looked like someone had sat on top of the box. Um, so I ended up returning it and getting a, a new copy of it. Yeah. Not good, especially when you like to um, collect, collect things, things and, and keep and them it. nice. So exactly. All right. Awesome. Well, I think that's the end of this video. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If there's anything you'd like us to um, talk about in a future video, just add a comment and we will consider it. Definitely. Um, go to Instagram and check out 
A and B horror movies on there. And thanks for watching. See you soon. See you soon.